Welcome back. In this lesson, I'll go over creating a quick lighting rig for your car, and eventually we'll get to rendering this out. I have the corresponding start file up on my screen here. And at this point, using all the techniques that I've outlined, I've built out the entire car. And I've got the game ready version showing of all the objects that I need in my scene. And so now, if I select everything and hit seven to turn on my statistics, you can see that we're coming in at around 80,000 polygons, which is below our budget, and that is good. At this point, you could go in and you know, see where you wanted to spend those extra polys, depending on what you're going for. For example, if the art director says you're needing to make your tires a bit more curvy, of course, at this point, you could go in, add a turbo smooth. And similar to last process, just go in and remove edges that you, you don't think you'd need. What we'd be concerned with here is just the smooth curve that we've got going on in the outer edge of the tire. So we could actually go in and remove some of these loops here. So that's something you could do. Another thing you could do as well is, I'll just hide this for now. You could go in. And depending on if you're going to get a close-up of this area or not, you could turbo smooth this as well. And then optimize to get the polygon density down a bit. But those are areas that you can you can spend the extra polygons in. With the tires smoothed out a bit more, we're at about 84,000 polygons. I'll just run it off there. So now we're ready to rock and roll. Uh, to create the lighting, what I'll do is first I'll just make sure I've got my layer set up. And I'm gonna go ahead and create a new layer. I'll just call that lights. And I just like having things separated when I work. I'll make sure it's checked blue. That is my default layer that I'm working on. And then I'll just go to create system. And I'll create a daylight system. It's going to prompt you about the exposure control. Just go ahead and say yes. I'll just drag in my viewport and then drag again. And that'll set up my daylight system there. And so what I'll do now is I'll just go to my environment tab. And that's by hitting eight. And I'll just go ahead and let's close that for a sec. I'll modify my light settings. I'll just switch the sunlight. I'll switch that to mental ray sun. If it's skylight, I'll switch that to mental ray sky. Then I'll hop back into my environment tab. And I'll add the mental ray sky to my environment settings as well. And before I do that, let me go ahead and set my renderer to mental ray. All righty. And then I'll select the mental ray physical sky there. And sometimes when you create it, or usually when you create it, that should get set to you by default when you switch to mental ray sky. Seemed like I had an old V-ray environment sitting in there, and so it didn't get switched. All righty, so with that set up, we'll just go ahead and hit render, do a quick render. And I'll pause the video while that's going. All righty, and our render is complete. And so that's what it's looking like here. And so, from this point on, it's just tweaking things. If your scene feels a little too hot, you can go into your environment and effects tab. And you can use the mental ray photographic exposure control and change the exposure value here. Then you could actually drop this to about 14. And that'll darken your scene a little bit. Right now, our light set to come directly from above. And so when you go to the motion panel with the light, the daylight system selected, it'll tell you date, time, and location. And you can set, you know, like very accurate locales from here. But if you wanted to, you could check manual. And then you can move your light around. And that'll change 
the lighting setup. And the closer you go to say like a different time, then the light itself will dim or get brighter. And so I just move that there and I'll render again just to show you what that would look like. And so this is what we get at this point with that render. And so what I can do here, just hop in, I'll pull up my material editor. And the material we're using right now is just a simple, simple gray material. I've just got it applied to everything specular and glass value. And this is just for previewing things, just to see what's going on. Of course, you could go through and add carpet materials and all that good stuff. But just for getting, getting out a quick render to see, you know, our model lit, to kind of get an idea of what's going on, this works pretty well. Another thing you can do as well is go through and modify your your daylight system. Where it says softness, you can get nice soft shadows by just going in and setting this to about 10 or so. And you can control your sun multiplier and, and stuff like that. Again, that's something you can play with to get, to get the specific look you're going for. I'll pause the video and do another quick, re quick render. And so that is what we get now with the, the softer shadow settings. And so that's looking great. You could do at this point, we've covered quite a few modeling techniques. So you could build out a simple home space to have your car live in. Typically, I just create like a cylinder or such. Just something fairly large to act as a ground plane. I'll just go through and assign the same material to that. And I'll just do another render at, at this point. Eventually, you could add cameras and you know build out a full home space and just have somewhere for your car to live in. I'll just do a quick test render of this. And I'll hit pause while I render. All righty, and so this is what we've gotten. And this pretty much concludes this lesson. Thank you very much.